Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be talking about how legendaries are going to work in patch 7.32 and later on in Antorus, the Burning Throne. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do, remember to rate it, thumbs up. Once patch 7.3.2 goes live, legendaries will drop at item level 1000. Now don't worry, you will be able to upgrade your current legendaries by collecting items called waking essences. These waking essences will drop from things like mythic weekly plus chests, and Taurus drops, emissary caches, and more. Coming soon to Legion are two brand new legendaries, but these aren't like the Legion legendaries we've seen so far. They aren't spec specific, and they are not random world drops. The first new legendary is called the Insignia of the Grand Army, and it is a reward from the quest The Death of a Titan, which requires players to defeat Argus the Unmaker, the final boss in Antorus, on normal difficulty or higher. The legendary effect on this ring increases tier 2 effects of the Netherlight Crucible by 50%. This item counts as a Legion legendary and is subject to the 2 legendary item cap. The second new legendary is Amonthul's Vision, which drops from Argus the Unmaker on normal or higher difficulty. Amonthul's Vision is the only Legion legendary to drop from a specific boss, and is the only legendary not to count towards the 2 legendary limit. This means you can equip Amonthul's Vision and 2 additional Legion legendaries. Amonthul's Vision is one of the 4 Pantheon trinkets. The other 3 are epic and can be upgraded 5 eye levels at a time from 940 all the way up to 1000. The item used to upgrade Pantheon trinkets is called Pantheon's Blessing and drops from Argus the Unmaker. Pantheon trinkets work together, and once 4 different Pantheon trinkets proc within a certain amount of time, wearers will get a bonus buff called Amonthul's Grandeur. These 4 procs must be different, unless they're from Amonthul's Vision, which kind of serves as a wild card. So basically, you could have the four different trinkets proc and you would get the buff, or you could have four Amonthul's Vision proc and you could get the buff, or you could have two different trinkets and two Amonthul's Vision and you would get the buff, or any combination thereof. I know that's a little confusing, but I think it'll be easier to understand once we're actually in-game. It's also worth mentioning that this buff, the proc or whatever, only works in Antorus the Burning Throne. I know this is like kind of convoluted, so if you're still lost and you want to read more about it, I'll have a link in the info below. As far as the cap for number of legendaries that you can equip, with the exception of Amonthul's Vision, Blizzard has no plans of changing that at this time, so you'll still only be able to equip two, unless you have Amonthul's Vision, in which case you'll be able to equip three. What was more disappointing for me, though, is that Blizzard hasn't yet addressed, or maybe they're not even going to address, any sort of catch-up mechanisms for players who have fallen behind or players who are unlucky, because for someone like me, I still don't have my best in slot, and I play a lot of WoW, and I can't imagine how crappy it feels for people who are more casual players, and they've only gotten, like, a couple legendaries, or maybe no legendaries at all, and Blizzard hasn't really addressed this at all. So hopefully we'll find out more information soon, and this is something Blizzard's working on, but who knows? What we do know, however, is how Blizzard will handle the issue of players who have already collected every legendary for their class. Side note, this is probably the most first World of Warcraft problem I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, boo friggin' who, you have too many legendaries. Ugh, who cares? But in all seriousness, Blizzard's current system doesn't allow for duplicate legendaries, so to combat the problem of players who have every single legendary not getting that kind of reward anymore, Blizzard is introducing a set of BOA spec-specific legendary tokens. So what'll happen is if you have collected every single one of the legendaries for all of your class's specs, if you were to get a legendary item, it would be one of these BOA legendary tokens, and you can send it to your alt, right-click it, and it'll turn into a legendary for that character. Now, I totally understand why this system is really necessary. I mean, Blizzard doesn't want to be unfair to players who have really played a lot of the game, and the incentive of getting some sort of legendary is a big deal, but what my opinion on this is, is that the struggle of having too many legendaries has got to be more rare than the struggle of not having your best in slot or not having a legendary at all. And for those of us who play a significant amount of WoW and still don't have their goddamn Praetorian Tide Callers, I demand justice! <laughs> Anyways, I hope that Blizzard plans to do something in the soon future that will help those of us out who have sort of fallen behind because it is the end-ish of the expansion and now is the time for catch-up mechanics. So give me my best in slot legendary Blizzard. Give the players who are returning or have fallen behind or are just incredibly unlucky, give them legendaries Blizzard. Legendaries for everyone! 
I hope that this helped catch you up to speed on what is going on with legendaries in the future of World of Warcraft. And if you did enjoy the video, thumb it up and leave me a comment in the comment section below. I am going to go. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you all. You're in my heart. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.